So why exactly was there a global SpaceX Starlink outage? I'm glad you asked. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of misty morning and that is it. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a tech day. We're gonna be talking about what exactly happened with SpaceX Starlink and it went down last Friday. Same time as today, but a week ago. What do you think about this mug here? Huh? What do you think? Tea Time, right? I put this mug together. It's in my merch. If you want to go and check this out, go over to jcristina.com forward slash shop or just go to jcristina.com. Go check that out. I put this together, a shirt, also my Life After Adobe shirt. There's a bunch of other merch that I'm going to be coming out with in the next, eh, probably about the next month or so. So stay tuned for that. Always love your support. Anyways, before we get into all this, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my ebooks as of yet, go check them out. They are 100% free. Go over to jcristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jcristina.com forward slash books. If you have subscribed to the channel, thank you. If not, please do so. And if you are subscribed, click this little button over here. So when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And tonight we'll be going live again. I believe it's going to be right around eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So come and join us. Anyways, if you also want to just say thank you, there is a thank you button right down here. Thank you, YouTube, for giving that to us. You can provide a dollar or two if you want. If not, that's fine too. I encourage you to become a member of the channel. That would be even better. Also, if you want to get more Starlink information, Starlink helpful tips, tricks, how to's, what to do, what not to do, and why, this channel is all about the why. It has always been about the why, not just the how, and I hope you appreciate that. There there is a Starlink playlist. I'll put a link over here. Go check that out. Over 130, I think, getting close to 140 videos I've made over the last year and a half. My journey using this system. And you guys have been enjoying it. I'm glad that you have. Anyways, let's get right to it. So a week ago, like I said, today on Friday, we were going live and we were going to go live at about 8.30. And at 8.15, Starlink went down. And I started scrambling around. This is the backstory, so you know what happened. I was scrambling around to figure out what am I going to do. We have AT&T U-verse, which is complete crap, so that's really not going to work. But I remember that we had T-Mobile internet, the home internet, that little gateway that we just got in a couple of days prior. I said, you know what? We're going to use that as a primary, and then what we're going to do is set up as a secondary SpaceX Starlink into our bonding system that we've been testing. And that's exactly what we did. So we started started going live with T-Mobile and then as SpaceX Starlink came back online about 30 minutes later, they bonded together and now we had Starlink as the primary and T-Mobile as the secondary. It worked out beautifully. Anyways, this is what ended up happening a week ago, and it was kind of crazy. And at the time, I was speculating what happened. And Elon went live in Twitter with a tweet stating kind of what happened with a cert problem and this and that, and they were going to direct attention to other single point vulnerabilities. And I explained to you guys what that meant. So I wanted to dig in a little bit deeper into this subject, and I was reading an article over on Cyber News. And I want to share this article with you and then give you my thoughts thoughts. But most importantly, I want to get your thoughts. Once again, this channel is all about community. It's not about me, some guy sitting here on YouTube, right? It is about community and us having these discussions. Let's get right into it. The headline reads this, Elon Musk Starlink went down for several hours over an expired digital certificate that machines rely on to work together. Now, it wasn't several hours. The majority of you guys told me, I think there was like 160, 200. There was a whole bunch of you guys online live last Friday talking about how you went down too. And this wasn't just in the United States. It was in Canada, South America, the EU, Australia, even in Nigeria, we had someone in the chat talking about them going down for approximately a half an hour. So it wasn't 
hours, but I guess in totality it was hours because it was almost like a rolling outage, a rolling blackout. As SpaceX Starlink started upgrading all of the software, all of these certs in these ground stations. And once they did that, they upgraded the software and the modems and all of our dishes, as I call mine, Mr. Bevel. So they upgraded that information to new firmware and then rebooted it. So it took a long time for it to all come to pass, let's say, and work its way out. Anyways, the article continues with Starlink, a satellite internet constellation operated by SpaceX, experienced severe downtime for several hours on April 8th, with users from Melbourne to Seattle complaining about the issue. Quote, the issue was caused by expired ground station certificate. We're scrubbing the system for other single point vulnerabilities. SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk said on Twitter after the outage. What Musk meant was that the constellation went down over an expired digital certificate. A so-called, quote, machine identity enables devices to trust each and recognize each other. According to Gregory Webb, CEO of Certificate Lifecycle Management Business, AppView X, certificates are the backbone of cybersecurity, providing authentication and encrypted communication. Therefore, given the scope and scale of Starlink service, allowing one of these digital certificates to expire is inexcusable, he added. Operating with an expired certificate can lead to many problems, including security vulnerabilities. For example, attackers could use the flaw to intercept sensitive information such as payment data. Quote, if a TLS or transport layer security certificate expires, the internet's facing application or website will not be secure, trusted, or accessible, causing a service outage and potentially worse, an unsecure attack vector. This is what Webb told Cyber News. Quote, in the case of Starlink, which can be considered a provider of critical infrastructure services, certificate-related outages are inexcusable. While SpaceX didn't specify the nature of the expired certificate, the likeliest scenario is that the impacted system was an internet application or service. When the, quote, machine identity expired, the authenticity of the service could not be verified and systems that rely on it stopped working. A system outage over a single expired certificate poses severe security concerns since, as Musk put it, it's a single point vulnerability. In other words, Starlink's outage showcased how a single point vulnerability can severely compromise an entire system. Quote, the certificate was tied to a specific internet application or service and would have no impact on other applications or services with valid certificates, which is why it would be a single point vulnerability, according to Webb. However, the problem with the digital certificate is that there is so many of them. And in cases of failure, developers need to manually check systems to find every expiration date. This can prolong the time an organization needs to remedy the situation. Moreover, the number of outages caused by expired certificates may increase. While public trust or TLS certificates currently have a 398-day lifespan before they need to be renewed, Google recently posed to reduce this to 90 days. Now, personally, I don't think 90 days is a bad thing. I do think that 398 days is. I don't know where they came up with this odd number of 398 days. I think doing it every three months, every 90 days, is a really good time frame. And a system administrator can set up a system to every 60 days check, and this way they will be 30 days out, just in case there's one that's going to be expiring. I like that time frame. 398 days is just an odd number. Right? It just doesn't make sense to me. So I do think that changing this would make sense. Now, honestly, I don't believe an organization like SpaceX that has its sights on the moon, that have its sights on Mars, and that provide internet communication to over a million customers, civilian, government, military, and everything in between, should be exposed to this type of, quote, single point vulnerability. All right. And now I do have to give Elon Musk kudos for immediately bringing it up, saying that there is a problem, what the problem was. We're working on it. And not only are we working on it, we're going to really dig deep to see if there's any other single point vulnerabilities that can possibly take down our whole system. 
or maybe render it insecure. I think that that's awesome because every other company that had this problem, they would just sweep it underneath the rug and that would be it. They'll give a little sentence, we're working on it, it'll be fixed in a moment and that's it. They won't give you any more information. So once again, kudos to Elon for this. Now the problem that I do have with this is that I did some research and I found right around the beginning of April, last year, 2022, there was a similar outage. Now, my question is, is this similar outage have to do with a certificate issue or was it just a coincidence? And that I really don't know. But once again, there was a similar outage basically 365 days ago, let's call it. All right. Now, these certificates do come due every 398 days. So it doesn't make sense. It could be a coincidence, but maybe not. I really don't know. It is very odd. But if that was the case and it happened twice now in a row, that's a big problem and it definitely needs to be addressed. If it was just a coincidence, well, I'm once again glad that Elon Musk brought it out there, put it into public view and said, yes, there is a problem. We know what the problem is. We're going to fix it shortly and we're gonna dig in a little bit deeper and see if there's any other single point vulnerabilities that could possibly affect our entire system. So that's what exactly is going on. So once again, kudos to Elon for bringing it out there. I think that it's great, but once again, was this a coincidence or was this not? At any rate, I hope you found this information valuable or at least entertaining. If you did, throw this video a thumbs up. That'll be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, support the channel by clicking the thank you button. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for you another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you in the next one. Love you all.